Hey guys, so recently I got a question in one of the comments asking what exactly the difference, and especially in vocals, between isotopes, neutron, and nectar. And so very broadly, I'd say that nectar is geared towards vocals and dialogue, and neutron is general purpose mixing. So obviously the quick answer here is definitely you can use neutron on vocals and definitely you can use nectar on anything else, but that's not exactly the aim. And so while you can take neutron and use it on vocals, the modules that you will find in nectar are very specific to, to that task. So let me show you both of them and we'll do a quick review and see what's inside. And I'm not doing a full tutorial for how to use these plugins or systems, platforms, and I'm just going to give you sort of a peek inside so you'll get a sense what is in the box. Let's get started. Right, so I have both of the plugins loaded and let's have a quick look inside, see what each brings. So first of all, we have Nectar and as you can see, that is already uh, telling you it's for vocals, right? We have the vocal assistant right here and I'm going to use it in a moment. We have the pitch correction and scale detection. If I'll click the plus here, you'll see that we have choices of um, compressor, de or delay dimension, EQ, gate, harmony, reverb, and saturation. All of that is definitely vocals. I mean, anyway, we know that Nectar is for vocals. That's the uh, product uh, marketing, and that's where it, it is going. So you can use all of that, whatever. If you need a delay, if you need a reverb, if you need a harmony on whatever, go ahead and use it but I don't think anybody gonna buy Nectar for, uh, for that purpose uh, intentionally. Anyway, let's jump over to Neutron and see what, what's inside. So we have two compressors, we have an EQ, we have Exciter, we have Gate Sculptor, Transient Shaper, and Unmasking. And let me just uh, explain a couple of things here. So probably if, if you're new to Neutron, you're not sure what is the sculptor is. And that is a device that will do spectral analysis on the track that you're using, whatever that may be. And it will adapt and sort of uh, make it better. So uh, that's a uh, broadly saying. And you can see that we can use this on, on a voice and we have choice of dialogue and vocals. So yeah, if you have Neutron and you're mixing vocals, we have all the tools that we need here. We have EQ and a compressor. We have Exciter, which we can use to um, um, excite the voice and other things that you can use here. And especially, and I've done that in my channel, so check my channel. If you have the lead vocal and you have background vocals, or maybe you have uh, other things like you have your lead vocal and other instruments, you can use the unmask to sort of carve space for uh, the tracks. And so that, that's really, really, um, I mean, it's really, really good. And definitely, again, the bottom line here is you can use Neutron on vocals, but I don't think you can use nectar on uh, or just any anything for general purpose mixing so now with that let's turn on the assistant and see what kind of things we get out of the box for our vocals here and i'm gonna just bypass neutron and we are with the nectar i'm gonna click the vocal assistant and let's go back here and i'm gonna do assist next we have a choice of uh, vibes. Is it vintage, modern, dialogue, and intensity, light, moderate, aggressive? Let's go with the, uh, the middle and start. I know you're broken. I know you're 
giving up And yeah, I know you think that your time won't come You're crying in the pieces Laying broken on the floor But you put them back together every time before so I'm going to hit accept and let's see what we've got. So I'm going to start with the pitch. So that is right now um, not engaged. So the correction is turned off. I, I don't need it right now. The gate is off as well, but we might want to use that maybe to sort of tame the breathing. And that's a technique to use. We also have the EQ. And as you can see, it's a very loose EQ here. We don't have a, a high pass and things like that. But anyway, you can always go and let me show you that you can always go and, and, and change things. I mean, can change this uh, one here. Let's uh, change that to uh, a high pass. No problem. And you, you have the different choices here. Anyway, so that that's the EQ. We have a de -esser. We have another EQ and a compressor. Let's see what else we have. And we have the reverb. So we can also add dimension. Let me show you that. I'm going to put that just before the reverb. And you can see we have choice of chorus, flanger, and a phaser, and some controls for that. So uh, not a lot of things. And for the reverb, you can see that we have the uh, options here for pre-delay, decay, width, and saturation. But nothing more than that, except that we have uh, sort of a filter that we are removing some of the very low and high. So let's have a listen. I know it's like your world is just caved in And every single prayer just wasted But baby, there is beauty in the making So. Right, so that is what we've got with the vocal assistant when we are using the nectar. And again, I'm not doing a deep dive here. Let me know if you have any questions so far. I would love to try and answer anything. And now I'm going to click the assistant and let's start. Right, so first of all, that's a little bit different user experience, user interface. As you can see, we have the tone match here, we have the curve, and we are trying to match that. Also, we've got the detection, so we know this is a voice, and I mean, singing voice and not a dialogue. And also we have the punch right here, we have distortion or a, a sort of a, um, exciter right here. And then we have the, the width. But if we we'll go into the modules themselves, we see that we have the sculptor, we have an EQ, two compressors, and an exciter. And we can add some more stuff, but there's not much to add. We have the unmask, but we didn't really use it because we are not really mixing right now. But if I would mix the lead vocal against the background vocals, I would definitely use the unmask. And I don't need the transient shaper at the moment. So anyway, that is what we've got with Neutron. And um, let's stop here. If you still have any questions about what's the difference between Nectar and Neutron, let me know in the comments. And let me know what you think about the idea 
behind these plugins. And of course, if you like this video so far and it was any help for you, please consider clicking the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I, I would like to also invite you to my Discord server. So I'm going to put the links in the description of this video and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks and bye bye. Yeah, I know you're thinking that you're time